Hey, what's up guys, Trevor here. So today I'm gonna review this really cool ring sizing guide that I got on Amazon. Uh, when I went to go get married, I needed to get a ring and I ended up getting a great ring from JCPenney. Um, but before I bought this ring, I actually tried to buy a few rings on Amazon and I didn't know what size uh, finger that I had. So I used this guide to go uh, and look and figure out what size ring I needed and it ended up actually not quite working out as well as I thought it would. I think the guide is right but the rings that Amazon is selling are a little bit off and so it's hard to find the right ring when you don't have it to try on it in person. I've tried a couple different sizes and then I just ended up not liking the style because instead of a, a flat surface ring like this one is, I don't know if you guys can see it but it's a very flat surface, um, I ended up getting rounded surface rings and they tend to bug a lot more on your fingers. Um, and they kind of impact a little bit more so I didn't like that as much but anyway I'm gonna review this and show you guys what I like about so it. So here's the guide and this is really simple to use you just have to look and see what the size is on any particular one of these little spindle things and it shows it right there kind of at the bottom of it so that's a six maybe it's a nine I think it's a nine it's probably a nine because it fits me pretty close yeah I think I'm a ten so so I found the 10 and as a wedding ring, the 10 size actually fits just perfectly. Um, it's not too much if I squeeze together, it doesn't hurt. Uh, it kind of blocks it as it's coming off a little bit and it's fairly easy to take off. So again, the sizing kind of changes from ring to ring. This ring was a 10 and a half, I think. Maybe it was a 10. But yeah, it goes on pretty easy. It's hard to take off. So I'm not gonna be able to like just flop my hands around and take it off real easy. And, uh, but I can take it off and it doesn't hurt when I take it off or anything like that. So great sizing chart. This is the sizer that'll actually tell you what your ring size is. So I could show you guys exactly what size this ring is using this chart here. So it's the bottom that you're looking for. So it looks like it would be a nine and a half according to this which is interesting because that was a 10. So, you know, even with this, it's hard to measure like exactly what the ring size is that you need. And so this is an okay guide, but still I'd suggest, um, you know, using a service online that gives you free shipping like Amazon Prime. Um, well, I mean, uh, free returns, because if you get it and it's the wrong size, it might cost you more money to take it back. I was gonna order from a, a smaller website and then I realized the return policy wouldn't give me free returns, so. Amazon ended up being a good deal because I was able to return the rings for free and I got the one I needed, the one I liked the most with the diamonds on it at uh, JCPenney in store. And they resized it for free. We bought an extra additional uh, extended warranty contract. It was like a lifetime protection plan. So they'll actually clean it up uh, and re layer it with gold as many times as we need it. So it's, that's pretty cool. Uh, so I'll probably be doing that at least uh, once a year and i uh, got to do it before I moved to Thailand right now, which is cool too. So yeah, this ring is really nice. I like it, it's comfortable. I've not ever been a ring guy before I got married, so this was definitely a big step wearing something like this. And I don't wear it 24 seven, I usually take it off uh, when I'm at home, but I take it and I put it back on when I go out. And I never try to wear it when I'm out skateboarding anymore because uh, it's dangerous and I could pop a diamond out. Even though the protection covers missing diamonds, um, I still don't want to deal with that. So I have a little place for it here and there it stays. So that was my review of this great ring sizing chart on Amazon. I'll give you guys a link in the description below and if you use that link to buy it, you'll be supporting me and my channel and I do appreciate that. So definitely subscribe to the channel, like and comment if you have any questions and good luck buying the right ring for you. Take care guys, see you later.